Well here we are on April the 1st and it's been a while since I posted a video so I thought I'd just update you on what we've been up to. This is our kitchen garden which is still producing lots and lots of spinach, Swiss chard. Uh, we've had a whole line of leeks that we've been eating and they've been replaced with lettuces and carrots that are just coming through. That's the rest of the leeks. And then up here is the asparagus bed that I put in last year and as you can see these were two year old crowns they're just beginning to come up now we lost a few in the in the frosts but uh, we've got probably 30 plants coming up and I put another row in at the back as well and uh, we've also managed to get some trees in we've got some pears, cherries, apples uh, and then we've got nectarines and peaches over there and this is the patch by the polytunnel which after a lot of thinking about we've uh, dug up most of it and uh, put strawberries in there's this sort of bare patch you can see the strawberries and over here as well they're just starting to come into flower broad beans down at the back they'll be dug up and replaced with perhaps some winter cabbages the polytunnel's a bit sparse at the moment but uh, we've got some lettuces, we've had a good crop of radishes, parsley uh, we've got some Lola Rosso coming up in the seed tray, some vine cuttings that are coming through, a few onions, a few more strawberries to get some early strawberries there. They, these actually show the difference. These ones actually have uh, fruit on them already. So they're doing quite well. And then up the top of the garden we've got our top vegetable patch which we'll wander up to. This is my original strawberry patch. I had 40 plants there and in one year I dug up another 300 from those and planted them out. So 40 probably translated to another 400 at the end of the year. We also managed to get a few trees because that's what we're really short of here, fruit trees. So this was a apricot tree that uh, a friend of mine dug up and saved for me so that's actually growing okay. Then we've got a, two peaches, a white and a pink, up here. There's the dog. Hello, do you think more? Hey, yeah, yeah. And we put a fig tree up in the corner. We've got the builder in at the moment. He's building a new shed for me for all my tools up here. The neighbour's chickens have escaped on my drive. And this is the top vegetable patch, which I'm just beginning to plant up. So uh, we've got some artichoke plants at the back here, first row, and a nice row of garlic. Then we've got spring onions just coming through here, just beginning to come up. It's the first time I've grown these, so I'm interested to see what they turn out like. Then I've got four rows of onion sets. Again, they're just beginning to show some old winter cabbages that I'll probably plough up soon and uh, along here I'm going to plant my tomatoes so and then we'll have some courgettes which are planted out the seedlings there as well not seedlings, seeds, they haven't come up yet so that's a little update and uh, in another month or so I'll try and do another video but in the meantime let's leave with a picture of uh, Almas. Hello. yeah you're a good dog